Hi you guys, I wanted to do a quick video today on an application available from the Google Play Store called Kodi. Previously Kodi was known as XBMC and you could sideload it onto any Android device. Uh, it wasn't available previously on the uh, Play Store but it is now. You could also put it on a Windows device or any Mac device and you could sideload it onto uh, an iOS device providing it was jailbroken. Now Kodi is running in this instance on uh, an Android TV box. It's uh, a Woxter uh, quad-core Android TV box. And you can see it's a basic system. I've taken uh, everything that I don't need on there. You can see in the app drawer, if you go across the app drawer, it's fairly basic. There's not a lot of apps in there, so I'm just basically using it as a TV box more than anything else. So we can go into the Kodi application on the other side. You can see that once Kodi's uh, installed in your system, you can do all sorts of things with it. It won't look like this when you get it from the Play Store or you put it on your Android uh, tablet. It looks slightly different. The basic functions will be the same, but the interface and the libraries won't be there. You need to add them uh, separately as repositories. So the statements on the uh, Play Store saying it's not very good, you can't do a lot with it. Uh, basically, you need to add other things to it, other libraries, other repositories, and you need to do other bits and pieces to it. But basically when you get it set up how you want it, it's very, very useful, very fast, very intuitive. Uh, you can see movies, you get the artwork at the back, it changes with the different movies that you've got set in. If I click on movies now, this will take me to my library section. So you can see some of these movies I've got in. Some are stored on a hard drive I've got uh, directly below the Android TV box. Others are directly on the Android TV box. If we back out of that, the remote control is very similar to an Apple remote control. Uh, but you've got a back button on this. If we back out and go over to TV shows and the main icon and everything like TV shows, kids, etc. When you click on them, it basically takes you into your library uh, environment. So you click on TV shows and you can see all the TV shows I've got since. Some are reality shows, uh, some are drama series. And what you basically get if you go into any uh, series that you've got on there, like Gold Rush, Click on that and you get the option then to go all seasons, season one, season two, season three. Within each season, once you click on that, you get a sub-menu carousel which takes you to all the episodes within the season. Very, very intuitive. It gives you a synopsis on each uh, thing you've got stored in your library at the top of the screen. It tells you how many you've watched, how many you've unwatched. To add anything into your library, you've got repositories that are based under each section. So TV section there. Underneath we've got subsections, so search genesis, recent episodes, most popular, highly rated, one channel, etc, etc. Now these are all repositories that you need to add yourself, but in a video following this I'll show you a way of putting all these in one go from basic builds that other people have done. So there's now an, app, now an application available where you can use a community build. So, so basically this build I've got on uh, the screen in front of me, is a build that somebody else has built. I've downloaded it as a zip file and installed it, and I'm using the build in all the repositories someone else has taken time and effort to uh, actually make and uh, install on top of Kodi. Uh, quite easy to do, but uh, you need a tutorial. There's a few tutorials out there on YouTube, so you can watch them as well. So to add something into your library to get to it all the time, you can actually go to, let's have a look, uh, most popular for instance. We go into that category. And you can see what you get populated on the screen then you get a list of most popular tv series uh, let's find something i haven't got so say supergirl now on the uh, device itself i don't know if you can see that on the camera there but on the device you've got it's very similar to an apple device and you've got a menu a three button menu at the top if i press the three button menu from where i am at the moment so if i press the menu and point it at the uh, Android box you get all sorts of options there so you can add it to your favorites which is your favorite section but you can add it to library as well so if I click add to library what you see at the top of the screen it'll scan the TV database for all episodes and add them into library and that should populate then on the screen we were on before if you wanted to watch it directly from there and you don't want to populate your screen with loads of tiles you can click on it from there it'll take a few seconds to open I'll try a different one just in case there's no files in that one. So we'll click on that one. Take a few seconds to open. You can see season one, two, and three. And you can do the same thing. You can play them directly from there. You can go to season one. You can get a synopsis. And you can play the files from there. So that's a brief uh, overview of how Kodi works. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Ask me any questions you want. I'll get uh, other videos out related to this. So I'll quickly zip through different sections of this. You've got kids section, you've got sports, you've got TV streams, click on TV screen, streams 
and it'll populate a list of uh, TV channels. You can have uh, any channels you want. So I've got them set to UK. You can have American, Canadian, whatever you want in there. And you can have a TV guide. It all goes over the internet. Uh, with regards to playing anything, I won't do anything uh, purely because of copyright reasons, but when we go across to movies, for instance, uh, let's get some movies. You can see I've got quite a few files, like I said before, some I've stored on uh, hard drive, but if we go to, I'll go to a Spanish one that I've been watching, Pan's Labyrinth, you can get this uh, with English subtitles, but you can get them in any language, you can look for them, and what it'll do, it'll actually scrape the internet looking for this particular file. Uh, it may take a while to actually find it and find the file. So I'll give it a few seconds. If it's going to take too long, I'll leave it in this video, but it, they do work fairly well. Once you've found the files, you get this screen that comes up in front of you. So you get an autoplay, and then you get a list of files you can use. And what I tend to do is use autoplay because it'll pick the best one for the internet speed you've got, and obviously the uh, screen resolution you're using. So click autoplay, and we'll just get it. So it'll just maybe open the, we'll start from the beginning. So it'll open the opening credits and then I'll stop it quickly purely because of copyright again. So it'll take a while to uh, scrape the internet, a few seconds. Obviously when you're making a video like this it seems longer, but obviously if you're doing something and you're, you're looking for a movie, it's not, it's not that long at all, it's basically 20, 30 seconds. So you can see the movie starts off, we've got the volume turned down at the moment so uh, we won't get a, a great lot of rush of volume coming through the TV. I'll show you another couple of things you can do as well. So. These are just the opening credits, but this is playing in pretty uh, high quality. It's probably around 720p, I would think. Uh, you've got options if you press the middle button on the remote. Uh, you can then go fast forward, rewind, pause, whatever you want it to. So if I pause it, it'll stop and pause. Uh, we can fast forward it. You can go and get it working. You can usually go 2, 4, uh, 8, uh, 2, 4, 8, 16 or 32 times fast forward. We'll put it on play. And it'll carry on, we'll get it to uh, an opening screen. And maybe we'll fast forward it a bit. You see, two times eight times sixteen. Play. And the film will start and it'll play. Obviously, we've got the camera quite close to the screen, so I won't go into too much detail. But to stop it, you press the middle button, go across to stop, press stop, and then you get back into the menu you were previously in. Uh, use the back button on the remote to go back again, and then you can navigate around the menus. Uh, to uh, watch files you've got stored on a hard drive or a USB stick you've got plugged in, go over to System, go down to the menus below System, go across to File Manager, click on File. These are all stored in uh, Kodi when you get it, so you'll be able to do this straight off the bat. If you've got stuff on a USB stick and you want to use Kodi interface, as you can see, I've got USB host one. It's got 771 gigabytes free on my terabyte hard drive. If I click on that, we can see all the different uh, files and films and TV series I've got stored. You can have music in there, anything you want. And same again, uh, you can pick a video, click on it, find the video file, click on it again. And the same thing again, it'll, you, it'll play this directly from your hard drive. And again, we won't go into too much detail, but it'll open the opening credits and the way it'll go. And the same thing again, press the middle button to stop, go across to stop to get out of it. It'll boot you back, press the back button a couple of times, and you're back to the main screen. So all in all, a really, really useful, fast uh, system that plays full HD, 1080p, no problem on it. Uh, like I say, it's a basic Android TV box, quad-core, uh, Woxter TV box, about 60 euros here in Europe, very, very cheap to use. Uh, when you get it, if you slim it right down and just uh, take everything off that uh, uses a lot of uh, RAM, Facebook, Google+, Plus, all those, just use it primarily as a TV box, you'll have no problems with it at all. I'll get a few more videos out to you and I'll get some tutorials out to get these uh, builds and uh, community builds put onto your Kodi system. Uh, basically, this was a quick video when I looked on some of the reviews on Kodi on the Play Store, people are thinking they're going to put it onto their device and it's going to be all singing, all dancing. But obviously for Google, as I said before, for copyright, they're not able to do that. Anyway, I'll leave it with you. Um, give me feedback, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and I'll get more videos. I'll see you very in the future. Thanks for watching.